So, we are here to determine exactly, precisely, how much nickel would a nickel strip strip if a nickel strip could strip nickel. First step, building the flux capacitor. The dimensions of the nickel strip I have here are seven millimeters wide by 11.25 millimeters long, thickness 0.15 millimeters, and it's stamped out. Each sidewall is actually not the same. One is 7.2, and the other side is 6.88. So it's not perfectly centered, but that's not a problem. So the setup here is we've got a battery on the right, and then it's connected through our nickel strip with a temperature sensor, thermocouple, plugged into a cheap Chinese reader, but hey, it works pretty good. I've boiled water and froze water, and it seems to be reasonably close to 100 C and 0 C, so I'll kind of trust it. And then I'm measuring current through a meter, and I've got on the far left a load bank that's uh, electronically controlling to a set load independent of voltage so regardless of what voltage happens on the battery we're gonna have a constant current and we're gonna read it on the meter there and see how it goes now we're set at 10 amps we'll fast forward and see where it equalizes out at Looks like we hit a steady state temperature of 34.1 degrees Celsius. Now we're going to bump the current up to 15 amps and see where the temperature stabilizes out at. Looks like I overshot a little bit. Bring it back down to 15 amps. And at 15 amps, we hit 47.7 degrees Celsius. Now 20 amps. And we hit 72 degrees. Now we're gonna go up to 25 amps. and we end up at 104.1 degrees. Now I'm gonna turn the fan on and cool it down. You can see it's over 100 C, so it definitely burn your finger. But watch how quickly the temperature comes down when you force some air over it. it drops really quick at first. Then we'll just let it go for a while. And before long, you can touch it. and this is real time, you can just kind of see the temperature as it drops. It's kind of slowing down, 34. And it'll just keep going. Make sure the fan's on max speed. And you can see it's really slowing down, so it's about to reach the bottom. Now you can see it start to recover and it'll come right back up to almost the same temperature it was before. And we'll skip ahead to the next point. And here we go with 30 amps.
at 147.7 degrees. Now 35 amps. At 307.5 degrees. I'm a nickel strip. I strip nickel. I'm the best nickel stripper that ever stripped nickel.